An emerging trend that the largest venture capitalists are investing into is turning physical objects into computers, commonly called the Internet of Things. Chronicle is securing the Internet of Things with cryptographic identities on a decentralized blockchain backend. My name is Maurizio Greco, and I'm co-founder and CTO at Chronicle. My name is Ryan Orr, and I'm co-founder and CEO at Chronicled. I'm Sam Radakia, and I'm co-founder and chief product officer at Chronicle. All the existing product marker systems, serial numbers, UPC codes, barcodes, can be cloned or copied. And so we've had unique identifier systems for almost 20 to 30 years for consumer and luxury products. But we have not had a secure system of identity, a sneaker, a drone, a Louis Vuitton handbag, the way that our system works, we, we put these chips, this is an NFC inlay, into the physical product. We register to the blockchain. And this system of identity is both fully open and also fully secure. We're, we're crossing the threshold into a whole new frontier of secure identities for consumer luxury products, appliances, machines, devices, etc. This is a BLE microchip. We can use it for pretty much anything. Um, consumer or luxury goods like the sneaker or handbag or anything from a home appliance to your automobile. This is an NFC inlay. Um, it's a very secure chip. It's, cer it's uh, certified for bank grade uh, uh, applications uh, and uh, uh, substantially can uh, resist uh, for uh, uh, more than 20, 30 years uh, and uh, can prove authenticity of any kind of product. The crypto seal has been heralded as one of the most secure solutions for the supply chain available today. And so the kinds of applications that we're getting a lot of interest from customers in, in involve the highest value parts of the supply chain where secure chain of custody is essential. So if I seal this envelope, it can stay sealed for 30 years and yes. improve that. Definitely. I think another cool one or use case that we recently demonstrated was the drone. Yeah, uh, I think that the, 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 the use case is, uh, uh, is very important uh, because uh, we proved uh, uh, a machine-to-machine -machine interaction. So we gave an identity to, uh, to the drone. We enabled uh, a window to uh, recognize the drone. And uh, when the drone showed up at the, at the window to deliver uh, a drug uh, package uh, for some emergency or to an old lady, uh, the window just uh, recognized the drone and uh, opened and allowed the drone to enter in the house and deposit the package. This sensor board is uh, probably a great solution uh, for the supply chain. It records uh, all the data that uh, uh, these sensors can, uh, um, can measure. Uh, the data are stored uh, in the, securely in the sensor board and uh, when they are uh, uploaded uh, to the blockchain, this, uh, the sensor board uh, will assign uh, this, uh, uh, this data and uh, will make sure that it uh, uh, cannot be tampered with. So we have the microchips and we do uh, special firmware for the microchips to make the chips blockchain compatible. The NFC microchip, the BLE microchip, the notary sensor board for the supply chain applications. We use our Chronicled Cloud to do the registration and synchronization of an individual chip with the blockchain. And then we have app code that we can add to apps or to hardware devices to do the verification of a chip against the blockchain record. So this is the essence of the system. It's the firmware on the chips, the Chronicled Cloud, the blockchain, and then the app code to do the verification. So the IoT market, according to Cisco, is a $19 trillion opportunity space. And at the same time, there are huge vulnerabilities. The IoT is not secure today, and there's no interoperability whatsoever. Vaccines, human organs, and protein-based pharmaceuticals require constant and precise temperature measurement in the supply chain while being transported across the country. Should we trust the data collected by unknown sensors? Today, in the IoT and supply chain, you have no idea the identity of a sensor, who deployed it, whether or not it uh, has uh, data that, that can be trusted. Can an insurance company trust this data? How do they know if a router, aircraft flight computer, or smart meter 
is genuine. These devices can be tampered before or after installation. We are just at the beginning and the pace of IoT adoption is continuously increasing. In not too long, we'll have more than 100 billion internet connected IoT devices. Today, we have only 20 billion. Organizations now understand that there is a trust gap and they are looking for solutions to address it. We envision a future where IoT is securely and seamlessly integrated into our society and business processes. This requires IoT products developed by different companies to work together. Chronicled aims to build a trusted IoT platform that supports seamless interoperability because it's both secure and open.